and welcome once again to Women in Ministry TV. I'm Jacqueline Battle, and I want to just for a few moments speak about our decisions. The Word of God tells us that anything that we do doubting is a spirit of fear. So anything that we do in fear is sin consciousness because it's fear-based. Recently, we've had a lot of talk and a lot of questions about certain decisions that we should make medically, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. I'm not here to speak on those things or in a political way at all. I'm simply reminding us that whatever decision that we make in life, we need to check with the spirit of the living God to confirm that our decisions aren't fear-based. Also, we want to be reminded that because Jesus died and was buried, resurrected and ascended, is now seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus and next in the throne of God, at the right hand of God, and we're seated with him in heavenly places, that his spirit of grace resides in us. We can rest in the power of grace that he's given to us. We don't have to fear that we're not enough. We don't have to fear that we're missing the mark. We don't have to fear that someone else is going to get ahead of us because whatever is done in fear is not of God. According to 2 Timothy 1, 7, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Be certain that your actions are not driven by a spirit of fear or anxiety or, or dread or timidity, that you're not choosing to go after a position because of timidity, because of dread, because of fear, that you're, you're hesitating to speak up because you dread the confrontation. All of that is governed by the spirit of fear. Make sure that your medical decisions are not based on a spirit of fear, that you're not making a decision to do certain things or receive certain vaccinations or medications because of fear. And by the same token, be certain that you're not refusing certain surgeries or medications or vaccinations because of fear. This is a reminder that God is not giving you the spirit of fear. He's giving you the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. And that word power is authority, but it's also influence. So whenever you are influenced in a direction that promotes dread or fear or timidity, that's not coming from the spirit of God. He's giving you the spirit of power, authority, influence, love, compassion, and sound mind. This week is just a reminder that whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Whatever you do, sit in the grace of God so that you can walk by the faith of the Son of God. For it is written, this life that we live in the flesh, we live by the faith of the Son of God. Paul said in Galatians 2.20, this life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Do it by faith and understand that whatever you do as it pertains to your health that you're not depending on the tool that's being used but, but rather it's being used as a port of, of, of contact for your faith to connect with the very true source of healing who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as it is written in Isaiah 53 5 he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace, our shalom, our wholeness was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So today we declare that we're made whole, that we were just uh, restored, and that we recover. And we don't just recover, but we recover all. As it is written in the word of God, they shall lay these signs shall follow those that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Let these signs follow, be made whole, restored, and recover. As we close, I want to read this scripture. And he that doubted is damned if he eat it, because he eateth not in faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is of sin. Even in your diet, if you're motivated by the spirit of fear to eat or not to eat certain things, to take certain supplements or not to take certain supplements, 
we're disconnected from the very source of healing. Let's reconnect with the source of healing. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died and was buried, who was resurrected and has ascended and is now seated at the right hand of God. And be a reminder that we are seated with him in heavenly places by Christ Jesus. And therefore we've been given all spiritual blessings in heavenly places by Christ Jesus. And we obtain them through the grace of God. Sit in his grace, rest in his grace. Walk by the faith of the Son of God. And whatever you do, let it be motivated, not by fear, but by faith in the very source of life, source of healing, source of wholeness, source of restoration, and source of recovery. Make sure whatever you refuse, you're not refusing it because of fear. Whatever you accept or receive, you're not receiving it, motivated by fear. Let it be that you have tried the very source of healing and have found it to be reliable. God bless you. This is Jacqueline Battle. This has been another week 